Welcome back everyone, it is Caleb, and this is your C programming tutorial series. Now I admit, it has been a long time since I have done this series, so it may take me a couple minutes to get back in the hang of things, but fortunately for us, this video is going to be a review of the last 40 videos. So I believe that having that information down is essential to go forward in making a more complex programs. You're going to want to have that information down pretty good. So this video and the upcoming videos, I'm going to have some miniature quizzes for you guys. I thought I'd switch it up. I don't think I've ever done anything like this, but essentially I'm going to ask you some questions, wait a couple seconds, and then tell you the answer and tell you why. First question is, if we have something like this, 5 plus 5, what is this entire thing called? So that's one question. Another question is, what is this called? And also, what are the fives called? So there's kind of three questions here. The answer. So the entire thing is called an expression. The plus sign is an example of an operator, and the fives are what are known as operands. The operator does something with the operands. In this case, it adds them together. An expression gets evaluated to some value, in this case, 10. What are the three groups of operators? Now, if you're not really sure where to start, the groups are by how many operands they have. Okay, so the answer is unary, binary, and ternary. So this is one operator, this is two, and this is three. What do you call a language if it does not care about extra spaces between commands? The answer, white space insensitive, where white space are spaces, tabs, and new lines. Now where those extra spaces do change things is if you're trying to do it inside the middle of a keyword. For example, if you had if like this, it's not going to work. Or if you're within some kind of string, well, any kind of space here is going to be inside of that string, so it's not gonna be disregarded. This question's a little vague, but let's say we have something like this. What is this called? The answer, variable declaration. When we have a variable declaration, we're literally just saying, hey, this variable exists, but we're not assigning anything to it. When we do something like this after that, what is this called? This is called a variable initialization. And as a reminder, you can do this on one line like so. All right, so what is the word used to describe the way you type out commands and where curly braces go and all of that stuff. The answer is syntax. When you go from one language to another, you often have the same capabilities, but you might have slightly different syntax. So different things might go different places. Okay, so what are printf and scanf examples of? The answer, they are examples of functions specifically I.O. functions. So I.O. is short for input output. Now when we put something into this function, that process is called passing. And the thing we pass, oh goodness Onyx, what are you doing? <laughs> the thing we pass in is called a, or an, <laughs> the answer, argument. And that will be assigned to a parameter variable. So often you'll hear, argument and parameter. And that is just referring to the data passed in and used within the function. That's all I have for this little quiz video. In the next one, we're gonna have some more questions for you. Hopefully this has been helpful and uh, let me know if you like these quizzes or if you just think they're a big waste of time. <laughs> Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and guys, please, please be sure to subscribe as that'll help me out. All right, thank you.